Hey everybody, welcome to PhotoBlue. Today I thought I'd show you how to use adjustment layers in Affinity Photo. Uh, adjustment layers are used to make various adjustments including color balance, exposure, shadow highlight details, and it keeps them on separate layers so you can turn those adjustments on or off or you can easily make readjustments to them without affecting the base layer or burning it into the the photograph. So to start off with we're going to go over here and click on this adjustment tab over to the right here and you'll see we'll have a whole bunch of different things that we can do here uh, including contrast, uh, white balance, exposure, etc. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick white balance. When we click on it it gives us uh, three options here which are kind of defaults that we can use. So we can have just kind of a default neutral, a warm or a cool. We're going to go to, with the default neutral. When we click this on it brings up another window and we can adjust the blue and the yellow or the green and the magenta uh, manually or we can use the color picker right down here and all we do is we click on that and then we pick an area and click on that and select it and uh, it warmed up the picture slightly when we did that. So we can shut this and if we go back to layers you'll see that it created a layer white balance and if we double click on this it brings back up the window. We can also click on this and turn it on and off which is nice particularly if we're doing a couple of adjustments and we want to see uh, how they affect each other and turn one off and the other on or whatever. So if we go back to adjustments, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, there's exposure down here. I'm not going to mess with exposure, but I'm going to mess with shadows and highlights. And again, it gives you uh, this time five different choices of of, uh, of uh, different um, ways you can adjust the shadows and the highlights, whether it's extreme, soft, uh, uh, dump the shadows, blow out the highlights, once again, we're going to just start with default. And it brings up this window right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to brighten up the shadows a little bit, see if I can get a little bit more detail in there. And you can see we can see a little more detail under, uh, under this archway where it was in heavy shadows. I'm going to bring it back a little bit. You can always change that again later. We're going to shut that off. And then uh, the other effect that I wanted to show you on here, we're not going to go over all of them in this video, I just want to give you an idea of some of the things you can do, is uh, if we wanted this to be a black and white photo, we can click on that and it gives us three choices here of how it will interpret the black and white photo. We're going to go with the default again. The nice thing about this is that we can adjust contrast in this black and white photo using uh, different colors that would fall within the photograph. So for instance, the brick has a lot of red in it. So if we adjust this, we can make it a little bit brighter or we can make it darker. So that's a nice effect. It's, it's like shooting a roll of black and white film and putting a filter over it for a particular color. It actually gives us the ability to do that in post as opposed to while we're shooting it. Once again if we go back to layers and we decide we don't want it a black and white photograph we can click this off and it's color again and we can turn on and off or adjust any of these layers as we want and then we can of course export this to a different format JPEG or TIFF or whatever we want to use the final photograph in and uh, we can always come back to the Affinity Photo file format and adjust these later on. This has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.